breaking news from Washington. You're looking at a live picture of the White House right now. The Pentagon just announcing another $1.7 billion in new military assistance for Ukraine. The package includes $1.5 billion from the Ukraine Security Assistance Initiative, which sees the United States secure the weaponry and training from partners and companies, and $200 million authorized under the Presidential Drawdown Authority, which sees the weaponry taken from U.S. stockpiles. Essentially, a lot of this money will go to U.S. weapons makers, uh, who then give the uh, uh, weapons over to Ukraine. Uh, this is, of course, part of a multi-year, multi, multi, multi-billion dollar investment the U.S. has made in Ukraine and in these weapons systems made here in the U.S. New at 10, for the first time, America's national debt has surpassed $35 trillion. That's a rate of increase faster than expected. This translates to more than $104,000 per person and $266,000 per U.S. household. The Congressional Budget Office forecasts federal interest payments to exceed $870 billion this year, outpacing defense spending. By 2034, debt interest payments could equal Medicare costs. Now, despite these alarming figures, neither major party presidential candidates have made this a major part of their campaigns.